Hello, Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. So I wanted to put together a fun little reading here for you guys, just to give you an indication as to who's thinking about you, who's missing you through physical features, as well as this deck here. This is a combined volume one and two of my deck, the Enlightened Mystery Oracle, giving you the who, what, where, and when pertaining to your love connection. There are references to future love here as well. So for those who are unattached or are single right now, it could give you some descriptions of who might be coming towards you next. And of course, for those who are in separation from a romantic partner, this could be describing who that person could be. Th this batch right here represents numbers. So I'll go ahead and grab either one or two numbers, depending on what number I do pull, because I could pull a zero. And what that number would represent is how many cards I would be pulling from each deck here. Okay, so let's begin Earth Signs. I'm guided to this card right here. We have a five. All right, so I'll go ahead and grab five cards per deck. And the number five could be significant for some of you guys. So five cards. You will meet your ideal partner during the spring season. We are in the spring season. So especially for my singles, you might make a love connection in the next few months during Aries season here. You could connect with an Aries. And also for some of you who are in separation, maybe the spring season could be significant, but you guys could also reconnect during the spring season. They could have a letter A in their name, but so could you, okay? You will meet your ideal partner at a sports event. Maybe that's already happened for some of you guys, or you just have a common love of sports. You could both be very athletic also. Your person may already have children from a previous relationship. Maybe you guys both already have children from prior connections. And one last card. Your ideal mate loves ice cream. <laughs> Who doesn't love ice cream? All right, so those are the five cards from there. Take that with a grain of salt. Let's go ahead and grab five from here. They could be Hispanic, okay. A rounded chin. Exotic features. Two more. Medium skin tone. And one last card. Race, Islander, so Pacific Islander. I'm Filipino, so I would fall in that category. All right, so if any of these are jumping out at you to give you an indication of who's thinking about you, who's missing you, or again, my singles, this could be who's coming towards you. Okay, so that's just a small indication of who this person might be or who is coming towards you. All right, so now, Earth Signs, I wanted to go ahead and grab some insight, of course, to give you an indication as to what's going on with this person. I'll be pulling from my dating scene oracle deck here, because if they are thinking about you and missing you, they're not with you, okay? So what do we need to know here for Earth Signs? Happy and sensible, sentimental and sincere. That could be how you guys are with each other, okay? That when you're together, you really are happy with this person. When you guys have these conversations, I'm getting for some of you, you finish each other's sentences. This is somebody who's always open and honest with you. The sincerity is certainly coming through here, okay? Let's grab some more. What else for Earth signs? We do have Daredevil. The sky's the limit, constantly craving new adventures. So you might be dealing with a person who's not really afraid to go after whatever these adventures represent. And then they could also be very romantic. And bottom of the deck, we do have wifey material. So Divine Feminine, you might have a masculine here who really sees you as a life partner. They see themselves marrying you someday, or that could be what it is that maybe you're both hoping for. So let's grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection tarot deck. 
a hopeless romantic that could be the masculine seeing you as wifey material divine feminine but somebody was left out in the cold during this separation it's been a struggle for this person okay we do have the world card representing a cycle that has completed so something in the past had to complete because there was something about it that was not working but this is still giving you guys another opportunity to revisit the connection maybe because the world card can also represent a very positive harmonious connection where things can still fall into place for you what else do we need to know here we've got the lovers card so this represents gemini right here choices and decisions that either of you need to make when it comes to this connection the love connection the deep bond the sexual attraction the desire all of it is wrapped up in this card right here but sometimes it can represent a third party situation not always that doesn't apply to every person tuning in but it can because this could have literally been your lover, maybe. Some of you guys could have already been married. But this, was, th this is coming through as two people who fell in love. And it's a very romantic energy. But some of you guys could have also been dealing with a knight of swords. We've got air energy coming through here impulsive knight of swords sometimes isn't really looking to commit they enjoy being with you but they don't always commit to a partnership we do have that full card coming through so this is a new beginning here but i'm i can't help but feel for the masculine whoever represents the divine masculine energy they could have also done very foolish things that resulted in you guys going your separate ways but we do have the king of cups compassionate and loving so i really feel for the divine masculine they really are wanting to bring the romance back they're still hoping that this doesn't have to be over forever because from the king of cups energy this is somebody who's ready to devote themselves to the partnership but it could also come down to some timing issues here earth signs because we've got the four of cups you know they maybe at this point realize the window of opportunity is closed that they might have missed the opportunity to be with you they've got some major regrets about the fact that you guys are not together right now so many regrets because more than likely earth signs you might have disconnected from them let's see what else here we do have the divine masculine coming in as the emperor some of you guys could be dealing with an aries or something significant could happen between you and your divine masculine during aries season which we are in we're in it nine of pentacles financially maybe you're doing great right now earth signs but this is also a very independent solo energy so maybe right now you're either single or you're just kind of working on yourself your career your life purpose but you're not with this person that's why they're thinking about you and missing you they still see you as this wish come true they're really hoping to still manifest union with you and it's not impossible it can happen but there are certain mountains that need to be moved in order to make this happen because there are some blockages that's standing in the way of this union but they still see you as a temptation some of you guys could 
be dealing with a Capricorn as well. They still feel bound to you. At the end of the day, it comes down to making different decisions, different choices. That's why we have the lover's card that came through, which is all about making the right choice, better choices, better decisions, so that things are not compromised, you know, especially if somebody was already married or taken. They think about you. We know that. This is all about the happy memories, the past. They want a reunion. This could be a twin flame connection, earth signs. Wifey material. A happy, harmonious future. This represents a strong foundation here. But it could also be that some of you guys were already married and that's why this was complicated. Take that part of the situation if it makes sense for you. If not, then there's a possibility to come back together with your twin. That you guys can get married someday, that you can have a family someday, blend families if you already have children from previous partnerships. This represents a happy life right here. As long as you guys are working together, then yeah, this is totally feasible. It can happen to take you here. The sun, happy, happy, happy energy, very positive. So even though there were struggles or there continues to be struggles right now when it comes to this partnership, it doesn't have to stay there. You guys can overcome that as long as you work as a team, work together to get here. Because this is where your happiness thrives with each other in the connection. All right, Earth Signs, so I will leave it at that. If you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.